Okay. All right, Ken Law, thanks for that report. With me now is Kevin Falconer. He is the former mayor of San Diego and a Republican candidate for governor in California. Uh, Mr. Mayor, so good to see you. Hey, we'll get, thanks. It's a pleasure to be with you today. Thank you. Okay, so a recent poll shows the majority of California voters, 56%, say they plan to vote no on Newsom's mm -hmm. recall. Tell me why you believe Governor Newsom should be recalled and why you believe you would be a better governor. Yeah, I'll tell you, and I think what we're seeing in the recall out here in California is folks from all walks of life, all demographics who, who signed that recall petition, Democrats, independents, uh, Republicans, uh, who know it's time for a change at the top of California. And, I, and I'll tell you, I'm, and what's it about? I'm looking for, you know, it, it's, it's about a lot of things. It's certainly about the failed response to the pandemic and the fact that small businesses were hit so hard. But Frederick, I'll tell you, it's also about you know, the failures that we're seeing statewide as homelessness continues to explode throughout this state. I said the fact that our public schools in California are still, still not fully reopened. And, and I say that not just as a candidate for governor, but as a father with two kids in public schools. And, and that's the look, case I'm, where I'm a lot of states I'm, across the country in the midst of still a pandemic. I mean, you heard from uh, Governor Newsom in Ken Law's piece there who said he believed that this recall is being led by Republicans, the RNC-backed white supremacists and anti-immigrants. What's your response again, to that? I, I, think, I think the reality on the ground here in California, it's, it's Latino families that are signing this recall whose, whose kids you know, still can't get back in the classroom. It's our small businesses that have been open and shut four and five different times. And, and I think what's really happening here in, in California is, is people want a governor who can roll up his sleeves and get the job done. Look, I'm a Republican who got elected in the second largest city in California with a Democrat majority. It actually mirrors that of our state. And so I think it's time to bring Democrats and Republicans together for the best of California and a governor that can actually get things done. That's what I believe this recall is going to be all about. Do you believe if you were governor, would you be um, trying to um, lead a democratically leaning state similar to how you led a democratically leaning yeah. a city? I would, and I, and I think it's very analogous. And, and look, I, I think if you treat people with dignity and respect, even if you may disagree on issues from time to time, it's about getting the job done. And you know, when I look at what we were able to do in, in San Diego, particularly on the issue of homelessness, which is absolutely one of the top issues here in California, we were the only big city in California where we actually reduced it by double digits. It's that type of effort and results that I think Californians are looking for. Hmm. So you haven't always been a supporter of uh, the former president, uh, Trump. Ben, I just mentioned Gavin Newsom believes that Trump is, you know, largely behind a lot of this. Do you think that you would need Donald Trump's, you know, base in order to win uh, potentially, uh, you know, a challenge to become the new governor of California? I, I, think, I think to win in California, you have to get Republicans. You have to get Democrats and you have to get independents. I think that's just the reality. And, and again, that's what I was able to do as mayor of San Diego and got elected twice, as I said, in a majority Democrat city. Why? Because I like to think, Frederica, that I brought common sense uh, to bear to the job. And I, and I think that's in short supply right now. And, and this campaign that I'm going to be talking about, again, is about common sense, bringing our state together after a very difficult time, but, but really focusing on, as I said, results on homelessness, on getting our small businesses back open and getting our schools fully reopened, which they should be now, mm. not months from now. What about, what about immigration and the crisis at the border? I mean, these are major issues facing uh, California. The state you know, has 140 miles of a border with Mexico. Where do you stand yeah. on what you think needs to be done? What would be your fix? Well, I, 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 I will tell you, I've had a lot of experience in that. You know, obviously, as, as mayor of San Diego, we are the largest land port of entry in North America. So we spend a lot of time on border issues, and there's absolutely no doubt uh, that we've seen a failure on the federal level. Uh, you know, first and foremost, we need to have a safe and secure border, which we do not have. And so as governor of California, I will actively work with my fellow governors uh, and representatives of Congress on all sides because we have to fix this issue once and for all and not continue to put Band-Aids on it. All right, former Mayor of San Diego, uh, Kevin Falconer, thank you so much. Thanks for being with us this weekend. Thank you. My pleasure. All the best.